Hey what's going on guys, Comic Against Z here. In this video I'd like to introduce what I call a simplified stockfish evaluation. So uh, if we get back to the era in stockfish evaluation before uh, efficient, efficiently updatable neural networks were kind of invented and applied to stockfish's ev evaluation, uh, it was probably one of the most sophisticated uh, and literally one of the best evaluations in the world assuming the fact that stockfish is kind of like uh was holding the and, and still the world uh, the chess uh the, the world champion among chess engines so definitely uh something that really worth uh watching but you know like if you have a look at the evaluation in the whole it might be uh, a little bit too tricky to understand like how in particular it works but breaking down the evaluation of stockfish makes kind of more sense well at least to me personally because you can like starting uh, understanding how in particular it works and well here uh, uh, these games that you see now they, uh, they are played at ultra uh, at uh, so-called ultra bullet time control so it's uh, zero second per game plus uh, 100 milliseconds increment the search uh, uh, so this is the walkman chess engine playing with the two different evaluations uh, and uh, the search is absolutely the same for both uh, for, bo for both versions of the engine while the evaluation is different so uh, probably let me quickly explain what's the difference and then we'll get back to breaking down the stockfish's evaluation to give you an idea of what the so-called simplified stockfish evaluation is playing this sort of a match. So uh, let's get back to the source code probably. No, let's get back to uh, to the web browser. So uh, the first uh, version the, of the evaluation function that is playing uh, here in this match, by the way, it's leading at, at the moment, believe it or not, so it's even performing better than the simplified stockfish evaluation, which is a little bit strange, but well, probably the Apple because uh, uh, I've enabled my video recording software and uh, just search uh, is doing a bit worth, but no, it just made it well. Anyway, uh, so uh, not the simplified stockfish uh, evaluation, but just simply the simplified evaluation is probably the most simple uh, possible out there. So we have only P square tables for all the pieces. We are not using table, uh, tapered evaluation here. And we only have two different tables for cane in the middle game or and the opening as well and for a cane in the end game. And no smooth and no smooth transition via uh, interpolating values between the uh, between the opening and end game uh, tables. So we just uh, have a very threshold between the middle game and the end game, which is described here. So either uh, both sides have no queen or one queen and one minor piece for every side. That's exactly how it's implemented in the version that is playing now. And now let's get back to Stockfish Evaluation Guide. Uh, an absolutely fascinating result regarding the stockfish evaluation basically created by this guy not sure who is he but the work he's done here is magnificent to be honest it's very big work and you know like uh, I knew that this sort of a site exists for quite a bit of time but I never realized how how nicely we can make use of it basically so uh, the entire so-called main uh, evaluation uh, function of Stockfish is described here. So first we need to calculate the value, the score for a middle game or for the opening. It's, in this case, it's literally the same because we are interpolating between, all, between only two values, like the opening phase and the end game phase. Well, for some reason, they call it the middle game uh, phase. Not sure why exactly that they call it like this, but it doesn't matter really. So we have kind of uh, opening and end game phases here. Then we need to calculate the phase and it's done very simply by, uh, it's, it depends on the number of pieces uh, left on the chessboard. So uh, the value of the pieces are multiplied by their material weights and then we have some thresholds 
to distinguish between the phases like uh, the pure opening, then the middle game where the values are getting interpolated, and then the pure end game where uh, the, uh, the in, and in the pure end game the values from the uh, this from this end game evaluation are are coming basically. Uh, it's a little bit obfuscated here, uh, but I've uh, I've created much simpler implementation based on the version 1.2 of my Wukong Chess engine that was using uh, p square table values from Pesto engine by Ronald Frederick before this. And I need to say that uh, the previous versions are really, really stronger compared to this ones. Probably the reason for that because the Pesto uh, values are optimized to uh, be the only evaluation terms, while uh, in Stockfish we need uh, to make sure that we use all the additional t terms like pawn evaluation, uh, piece evaluation, and so on. So that's quite pretty mm, understandable, like why it's performing so, pure, so poorly at the moment. But anyway, so here we have the margins for opening phase and the end game phase. So the values, so we have the, we have not, not exact values, obviously, obviously but the same values like uh, conceptually that we had in the previous implementation of Wukong in version 1.2 that was released uh, a couple of days ago basically. So we have a different values for material. Please know the kin uh, is not equal to uh, whatever value. It's, it's just it's not it's not getting evaluated in Stockfish which is interesting. And now just to give you an idea where did I take these values and uh, how exactly uh, uh, I've used them, and especially regarding the p-square tables, it's it's not that trivial to well, at least it wasn't that trivial to me personally to figure that out on, on how in particular I could have come up with this exactly stockfish values because they are not available in this sort of a nicely uh, uh, represented format where where you can see everything. It's uh, much more sophisticated and obfuscated. But anyway, so. Uh, where can, so uh, just like here, uh, just like we have the values for both for material, we have the opening values and the end game values. Same, same for p square tables, we have the opening values, and we have the end game values. Just by the way, I need to specify. I just forgot to specify opening values here. Opening scores. Let's call it base square tables. Okay. So, and how did I come up with this sort of value? So, if I have a look at the Sockfish evaluation guide, well, uh, and again, like, yeah, so in, in my particular implementation, I still take care about the 50 rule move because it helps to mate faster. Uh, because otherwise we would be get, getting uh, get, getting some penalties if not mating the, uh, the, uh, as, as soon as you can. Okay, so uh, okay, just it might be done a little bit faster instead of using this math round. I could have just use this bit hack as as they do in Stockfish like this. Just left shift on zero bytes, which uh, uh, allows us to get rid of the floating point. Which this is, uh, 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 I believe this is much faster compared to this. But anyway, it doesn't matter at the moment. So let's have a look at the middle game evaluation. So we have two, uh, well, I, I, I've dropped all of these guys completely. So I, I've taken only piece values and piece square table values. So regarding the piece values, uh, if we just drop this this site specific implementation because it's not really how it's 100 percent how it's done in stockfish in, in order to make it uh kind of engine agnostic the author used this position uh, uh this position uh, object and the representation might be a little bit weird here but anyway uh it's quite pretty interesting to to have a look at because just uh yeah by the way it's it's live and i believe even if i just let's say if i put the queen from here say to a5 it should be reflected so global functions 
okay it should be reflected well at least queen did disappear from from its initial state I, I, I don't see that it's on the target square but anyway this doesn't really matter that much at the moment so the function we're interested is, in is this one paste value bonus and these are the values so uh, just using the trial and error method I've realized that this is kind of pawn knight rook bishop and queen and no value for king so this is uh, well again like it's a little bit obfuscated a little bit sophisticated uh, even though the co code is obviously very clean but kind of not that easy to understand compared to the code that I'm uh, uh, offering here in Wukun.js so it's much easier for me uh, like to see it like this way and also it's faster because first of all less uh, function calls so we're, on, we're not talk torturing the stack we're, we're, we're when we don't need that but even more uh, even better than that we just uh, avoid branching by uh, again getting rid of this condition so you know th this code is good for just how to call it basically for demonstration for the purposes of demonstration of how the evolution works but it's not optimized for speed basically so uh, here uh, the version that and yeah and here by the way uh, uh, I've copy pasted some core functions from Stockfish Evaluation Guy got rid of everything that I don't that, that I wasn't currently interested in just just to make sure just to uh, figure out which squares of the particular values are associated with because otherwise it's it's not really that clear if you just have a look at the source code so uh, I, I really needed to make some work to realize how uh, how the uh, b-square table values are uh, associated with the coordinates in particular and even bearing in mind the fact that these values are from the white player perspective still it wasn't that trivial to figure out how to map them in particular okay so let's get back so well anyway regarding the piece value bonus it's quite pretty easy to understand basically so nothing nothing special here uh, again, like, uh, I've used my own logic of, well, not really my own lo logic of calculating the game phase, uh, but just uh, the more simplified uh, way of calculating the game phase and having a look uh, like how the engine is playing versus itself. So just to give you a brief idea. So this is the Stockfish P-square tables plus material weights only uh, evaluation that, that is playing versus itself. So this is how it looks like okay well bearing in mind the fact that well obviously my video software uh, video rec uh, video recording software is working and also the engines are playing in the background it's uh, it's playing a little bit slower well, a little bit worth or worse compared to when uh, for when the, the full processing power is, is available but anyway it should castle it doesn't castle unfortunately okay uh, but I swear it did castle before. Yeah, now finally castles. Okay. It doesn't know anything regarding the king safety at the moment. And again, like due to the uh, due to the heavy load of the processor, my, my laptop is quite pretty weak. So having this video recording software and playing match in the background, it's not really that uh, that good, basically. But anyway, well, unfortunately, uh, yeah. And finally, yeah, finally black castles as well it's not the most typical game between them so probably if you can uh, uh, th this version is is alive in the live mode obviously like my main even mentioned as my website on on YouTube if you have a look at, at the chess programming channel in general so here is here is the link uh, not sure if I'll fall hey, going on, guys? Go oh I'm sorry guys just talking about three topics the first one oh, okay is sorry Sorry for this, just uh, started my, my own video for some reason. Okay, so, oh yeah, th this is just the link to the repo, but you can obviously play online. Yeah, by the way, uh, by the way, I've cleaned up the readme file, so now it's more readable in terms of it's more, more looks like a website. I was, think I was thinking about making a website for Wukun, but can't really see any any reason for doing this at the moment like to spend time on that I would 
I would rather be working on the plane strength and I don't know cleaning up the co-refactor and things like that it's more being more interested in those things in particular but anyway uh, all the stuff that was available in the big readme file is now being refactored so now you can just go to different pages they all are uh, made as the readme this uh, uh, md files markdown files so you can have a look uh, like by the way uh, I've added a picture uh, ex explaining how to install the Wukun.js in uh, Arena GUI to make uh, to be able to make tests like this, tests like that. So that's kind of it. But uh, if we have a look, yeah, if we have a look at uh, again, like at the project repo, here is the play online button. And again, like assuming that I have uh, uh, my processor a little bit overloaded at the moment, it probably, yeah, it would be the same moves but uh you can try this well obviously if you have a stronger computer than i do you might be having obviously you might be having different uh principal variations here but anyway uh just to just to get an uh, just to get an overall idea of the plane style well the lo at the moment probably doesn't represent much so assuming that uh yeah what what What's the result? So yeah, at the moment, the stockfish, the simplified stockfish evaluation seems to be losing, and it's quite a bit unfortunate. But if you just well, I, I've been watching the games for quite a bit of time, and we will we'll, we'll still watch the games in this video. Uh, I just want to say that it mostly losing on some tactical disaster, which is more like the problem of search rather than the evaluation. So some sort of an unfortunate uh, quick mate happens, or I don't know. It's more like search issues rather than the evaluation issues. But on the other hand, uh, when this uh, simplified stockfish evaluation actually wins, it looks it looks like a real positional masterpiece. Even though no position, no additional positional knowledge, but uh, the square table uh, are available. Still, it's really awesome to it's, it's it's amazing how how it manages to to win basically. So we'll come back to this because the match is not yet over. It's 66 games out of 100. So we'll. Uh, We'll, we'll we'll watch a few games still. Okay, guys. So, what else? Uh, yeah, here is the post on talk chats that I'm preparing regarding the results that have been presented in this video. Uh, I just wait for PGN to be completed to paste the link. By the way, uh, below this video there will be the link to the PGN as well. Uh, and I don't know. Maybe I could have leave the link to this so you could have take part in, in the discussion. But well, obviously. Uh, I prefer the discussion below the video on YouTube because it makes more sense to me at least regarding the subscribers of this channel so yeah and what's the very last thing so yeah it seems like I've covered everything uh, yeah uh, well also I'm, uh, I'm using this function that goes from one version to another to, to detect the material draw it's not really uh, doesn't really it's more like regards to search rather than evaluation even though I, I'm using this kind of within the evaluation but still it just uh, allows to await uh, getting drawing the uh, draw, drawn positions in the deep end game so yeah well probably I would also refactor this big switch case to use an array lookup I believe this this would be a better idea and yeah so so if you have a look at the, the uh, for those of you who's uh, familiar with uh, Wukun.js and my previous work, some previous videos I was making regarding the tapered evaluation and, val and uh, mat uh, both material and p-square uh, values by Ronald Frederick, uh, you probably recognize the structure of the series code. It's literally exactly the same, just, just the values are different. And the most uh, the most dramatic changes uh, hopefully about to come when I would be adding some additional evaluation terms. And as I was mentioning many times before, the matter of uh, p square tables, uh, well, not the matter of p square tables, but I'd rather say um, the content of the p square tables, the actual values. There might, be, there might be kind of two types of values. So those values that are optimized 
and tuned well most likely this the automated tuning is used so those tables that are used for material and p square table evaluation only and those p square tables that assume some additional evaluation factors like pawn evaluation and things like that p might be piece evaluation can save it and mobility things like that so i hope that's clear and again like uh I'm not sure at the moment how in particular I'm supposed to be approaching with uh, with uh, this new evaluation in Okun. Uh, as you can see that uh, I'm not following the Stockfish approach because I really want to keep the code as simple as possible and also reusable as well. I don't know, just I, I think that this is more kind of didactic way of doing things. So well, you're the judge basically. But anyway, uh, taking... Uh, you can literally grab the entire revaluation and embed this into your own engine. Well, JavaScript is almost like a C, so just a uh, just a minor syntax suggestions, and you you would be able to embed this to a C or a C plus plus engine, literally to to uh, to the uh, just engine written whatever language. It's not really that much things to uh, to get down with. If you're not using paste list like I do, you can just loop over the board array and uh, extract the square, the pieces and squares directly from there. Well, with, with the paste list, this is just a little bit faster. Okay, guys, so this is it regarding uh, the version of what I call simplified stockfish evaluation. So material uh, balance plus p square tables only, and it's plain versus uh, it is plain versus uh, simplified evaluation by Tomasz Mishniewski, if I'm not mistaken, regarding his last name, Mishniewski, right. Uh, and, well, surprisingly, uh, so thing that was claimed here, like uh, values presented in this simplified evaluation by Tomasz, uh, which is really simpler uh, to implement uh, compared to the one I've shown uh, regarding the stockfish evaluation. Uh, it's designed specifically to compensate for the lack of any other chess knowledge and not for being supplemented by it. While when we have a look at what I call stockfish simplified evaluation, it's absolutely on the contrary. So the values in positional square tables and in material weights as well, which, which, is, which is important, uh, is designed to not to compensate the lack of chess knowledge but to be supplemented by the chess knowledge by some additional chess knowledge and that's the core difference so that's the core difference be between two major types of uh, p-square tables uh, it's not really uh, you know like uh, the material weights don't really influence this stuff that much but the, uh, it's, more, it's more like about the p-square tables well material weight also ha has some influence uh, in terms of whether we do supplement uh, some ad additional chess knowledge or not. But with a P-square table uh, values, it's, uh, the difference is, is much bigger, basically. Uh, so, yeah, I just forgot to show the source of the P-square table values. So just, uh, I just realized that. So uh, just, let me just finish the thought and then uh, get back to that quickly. And then we'll go watching the end of the tournament. Okay, so... Uh, and the interesting thing that even such a simple evaluation like we have here uh, shows to be quite pretty strong, even without, uh, even compared to uh, such a complicated, uh, well, like much stronger, seemingly much stronger evaluation from Stockfish. But without this specific chess knowledge, uh, Stockfish's p square tables are not really that strong. So now it's currently it's losing nine games, which is quite pretty impressive from, from the perspective of the simplified evaluation by Tomasz Mishniewski, which I personally consider to be uh, a great success. Well, obviously, well, hopefully, but by adding some uh, pawn evaluation and other evaluation terms, uh, this uh, simplified stockfish evaluation would be uh, doing much better. But at the moment, you see the results on your own, basically. But yeah, uh, anyway, the games uh, themselves are very interesting. So yeah, the very last thing before, before I forgot. So let's have a look. Uh, where did I take the p square table values from? That's the that's really that's really interesting thing to consider. So 
uh, middle game evaluation, B square table middle game, okay, and B square table bound. So here is here is the function I've grabbed uh, the values from. I'm slightly not sure about the adjustments uh, down in the very last line, so it seems like well, uh, I didn't dive into this the source code that deep. I just tried to call this function from from my lock from my local copy just just to give a brief idea of what's going on there. Uh, that that seemed to be quite pretty enough. So well, I, I can't say for sure whether these manipulations are done because for pieces we have only the half of. Uh, of the values while uh, the other ha well in my case I've just simply mirrored the uh, the uh, so this kind of the left part of the p square tables and I've just manually mirrored the right part but I didn't do this blindly just just because I had no other choice uh, I was uh, here I was testing and then here here uh, uh, I was I was running this uh, this version of evaluation from a Sockfish evaluation guide just just to make sure that if I put the piece on a specific square not only on the so this is considered to be the left part of the board and this is considered to be the right part of the board no it's on the contrary this this is the left part of the board and this is the right part of the board which is a little bit tricky to to realize why exactly the implementation looks like this but anyway that doesn't matter at the moment in particular so uh uh, I came up with the fact that the values for the opposite side of the chessboard, I mean, like for the left part and the, for the right part, are mirrored by uh, simply using the trial and error method. So it's not kind of my guess; it's kind of something that I've tested. And well, I, I've tested this for a couple of pieces, and uh, so I made a conclusion that it works for for all the pieces. Well, maybe I was horribly wrong; not sure, but still, the way how it plays seems to be quite pretty reasonable and. At very least, words to my personal opinions, words of trying to play around with this. Okay, so uh, and finally, yeah, how did I come up with the values? So we have the values for pawn. No, sorry, uh, for for pawns, we have the values here. And uh, note an interesting thing that for pawns, so this is the rank uh, rank one, two, four, three, four, five six seven eight so for middle game or opening and uh, eight ranks for for end game and if we have a look at the pawn evaluations just just to give it more uh, just just to give a better idea these values are not symmetrical which is interesting right so we have uh, non-symmetrical values for pawn either in the opening or in the end game not non-symmetric but uh, regarding the pieces we have exactly exactly symmetric values for pieces in the opening and in the end game so that's kind of how it works so just for comparison uh in the p square tables by ronald frederick we have non-symmetric values for pieces as well and again like the pure ronald's uh, p square tables uh tuned to be the only uh, knowledge of the chest engine versus the stockfish ones are uh, actually horribly crushing the stockfish uh, tables because they're, they're not really uh, designed to be the only evaluation terms but just to supplement just to get supplemented by some additional terms and it seems like the more additional terms are getting involved the better evaluation becomes eventually so yeah and uh, so here we have the pawns and for pieces we have knights uh bishops rooks queens and kings and the order is here so uh, knights bishops rooks queens and kings so here we have this i so if uh i is equal to zero which means the index of p of pawn so in this case we're uh, using this pawn bonuses if this is less than zero it means that uh, we're something something has gone horribly wrong or we're just in the uh, in the square uh, not containing a piece so in that case we just return zero so we're literally returning zero for uh, those uh, uh, squares that are not occupied by any, by any pieces and for all the other uh, cases we return the uh, piece bonus that is taken from here so either for middle game or for the for the end game and obviously the values are getting interpolated later on so uh and again like just using the trial and, the, and error method i've realized that this is just the one part of the board and 
uh, for every every single piece and the opposite part of the board is just being mirrored so this is how i've taken this value so uh, uh, i was taken for knights bishops rooks queens i'm sorry uh hold on a sec uh knights bishops rooks queens and kings and i was taking four value then i was pasting these four four values rank by rank like this for opening for end games so it took quite, quite a bit of time and then i was just mirroring uh, the values manually for the opposite side so well at the very least you have some interesting values to play around with to embed into your own engine to see how they place and later on just trying to uh add in some new uh, evaluation terms and see how better it starts playing and one last thing regarding this that mm, assuming the fact that we already have the tuned values that the values that has been had been tuning for years in uh in a really strong hardware uh and by numerous number of people because the stockfish team is, the team is very big so these values are very accurate so again like what we're tuned by for for years basically and the most important part regarding the evaluation in general we really, really need to make sure that the relative differences between the values for every single given square and the values for uh let's say double pawn uh bonus pass pull pass pass pawn penalty uh, i mean pass pawn bonus double pawn penalty isolated penalty and others so so they interact with, with, with each other in the most uh uh optimal way possible there and that's that's why the evaluation tuning is needed and here all the values are already tuned so we can simply build this evaluation brick by brick or block by block later on where when we build the initial blocks with this initial bricks taken from the values basically and and then we can have a look how stronger the engine would be uh, by adding every single new evaluation term so that's that's kind of how it works basically really lots of uh, really great feel for experimenting in the moment uh, I'm not sure uh, well uh, something that I didn't really use yet at the moment is well actually I didn't actually use the scaling uh, I'm not sure uh, well uh, how exactly this works and what exactly this function does at the moment but again like well uh, I can I can skip counting material because the piece list already have the material count being incrementally updated in my engine, so it's not a big deal really. But what confuses me a little bit that we have a diff, sim, similar different values for bishop and uh, let's just compare them. So bishop middle game and bishop end game a two five nine y nine one five are the values are like this two nine oh yeah so the values are used so a two five nine one five okay so the value is hopefully the same and the rook middle game one two six seven one one two seven six yeah so well hopefully at very least the uh yeah at very least the values are used here which is brings a bit more light so uh again like too dumb at the moment go back again is too dumb at the moment to get an idea of what in particular happens in this case i just didn't, didn't really want to spend time uh diving uh, delving into this at the moment because i just wanted to make the engine uh, trying these new values as soon as possible and probably later on i would be trying just adding some additional evalu evaluation factors to see how how likely the changes are about to come uh also when there if there would be too many evaluation factors so the overall speed would be uh like drop dropping the uh, notes per second value in that case uh i will probably need to go for what is called a lazy evaluation so when we share the alphabet principles further to the evaluation and we just uh use only material and square table values if we are much if we're better for a given threshold and if not then we go for a full-blown evaluation that's another improvement but anyway uh this uh, playing around with this uh, stockfish evaluation lets uh significantly improve uh, your understanding of how the evaluation works in chess engines and for me personally this is absolutely fantastic resource to play around with 
And again, like, uh, bearing in mind the fact that uh, neural networks is something that I don't really, uh, I just hate them. The main reason is just because I don't understand properly how they work. Well, I, I do understand the principles conceptually, but uh, implementing uh, and training is a complete rocket science to me, so it's not an option, at the very least, <laughs> probably in this life. Okay, guys, so, yeah, another little thing that, well, I'm not I'm not exactly sure. So, you see, like, it starts already from the round 88. I'm not sure why Arena restarts uh, on my laptop. It happens after several games been played well m maybe uh, uh because hold on a sec just not really sure why the engine's not been oh so, so that's that's fine engines are here okay so for some reason it's uh, getting reloaded from time to time well maybe due to the, some possible memory leaks or, or something I, I i was trying to i was trying to uh figure out what's going wrong with the memory in my javascript chess engine but again like uh, assuming the automated garbage collector it's not really that easy to to, to realize so i don't know probably the move list uh, is not getting cleaned or I, I don't even know how what's what's wrong there but anyway let's enjoy the end game so the simplified stockfish evaluation plays with white and you see, like it end up with the two uh, two uh, piece, two pawns up at the very end, and obviously it would now mate the black king. Still, uh, the the overall count is not to the favor of uh, simplified stockfish evaluation, but rather in uh, in the favor of simplified evaluation by Tomasz Mishniewski but still just just want to just want to have a look uh, at the couple of games with you guys so you see like positionally it's, you know like it's trying to to promote a pawn so positionally it, it seems it seems to be kind of better uh, anyway well unfortunately lost the point well not now it's actually it's worse now it's now it's horrible so it's most likely to lose this game so again like really lots of work still about to be done here okay so yeah managed to manage to to get rid of this pawn which is also really good so well whoa maiden two oh yeah this was this was a bit a little bit unfortunate I just by the time it's playing i just want to have a quick look at the search I'm not really sure that the search is really kind of the same. Uh, I'm having uh, I'm having a look at the search at book one version one point one uh, version one point one now. So let's have a look at the Nigamax search. Uh, so I have updated the razoring code. Okay, and well, obviously the values are really to be changed when uh, the new evaluation terms. Are coming so that might be uh, that might be another disaster uh, because of this evaluation running related stuff yeah also should have be taken into account but anyway anyway yeah by the way that's the, that's the, that's the really good idea to have a look at all of these margins yeah and killer moves are involved within the late mode reduction okay yes it seems yeah uh, anyway guys uh, i've just realized that probably well maybe not really i've just grabbed these values from chess programming wikipedia this, this is from absolutely different engine uh so might be pretty useless well okay just just forget that so let's have a look at a couple more games well I, I thought that the video ends when we reach the number of 100 games fortunately not yeah and yeah for some reason for some reason we're having okay so did it just nope no it's just horribly losing horribly losing again yeah, it's a little bit unfortunate, but 
I was watching for about 20 games within this tournament and the way uh, the way simplified stockfish evaluation was performing in this uh, yeah and, and by the way I see that the games are getting uh, are getting repeated uh, it seems like I've seen this game before when uh, the, the it took like rook and giving away a knight and the bishop for it yeah it seems like I watched that I've been watching that before so I'm using the standard arena main book uh, 12 plies uh, 12 plies up to 12 plies uh, opening book okay well okay guys so anyway uh, uh, I would rather provide the PGN below this video so you would be able to have a look at the most typical games at this hyperbolic time control to get an idea of how particular it works yeah I, j I just wanted to show you the positional masterpiece by simplified stockfish evaluation but unfortunately it's not that lucky at the moment yeah so like 10 games down this doesn't really mean much at the moment it still might uh, the score might be about equal in the next 10 games so it's it depends basically well maybe not well it's hard to say anyway it's hard to say so but again like uh, without additional chess knowledge uh, it's pretty predictable that the pure positional square tables are playing uh, not that nicely okay it's gonna be mate I believe yes this yeah, now, now I see like this stockfish simplified evaluation wins here yeah well okay guys so this is it from my side uh, I hope you've enjoyed the video and hope learn something interest, interesting out of it uh, I will leave the links to the source code uh, down below uh, I was thinking like to separate the stockfishes specific square tables and material counts into in a separate file but probably I would be keeping this within Wukun implementation because yeah in this case you at the very least it can it can it can get tested while the implementation itself is quite pretty trivial to recreate uh, to reproduce it in whatever chess engine so that's probably how the, w the way to go well, okay guys so anyway this is it from my side uh again like until the next time basically yeah and take care guys